So having a lever, that's a full hundred years ago or more, right? That's right. Everything yeah. that we have done since then rests on her work. And what's, what's kind of cool is she gets to make those discoveries because the men wouldn't allow the women to do any, to, to work. You know, where's the, what's the most tedious work that is possible in, my, in the field? And it's like classifying stars and measuring the brightness and their spectra. And that's where the, all the discoveries happen. So, that, that's right. And she was you know, astute enough to notice, you know, not only were these stars varying that she was finding in the large Magellanic Cloud and the small Magellanic Cloud, but there was this correlation. The brighter stars were taking longer to go through their cycle of variation. And this is the basis of what Hubble's discovery, that there are other galaxies outside the Milky Way, that the universe is expanding. We use it for the key project. We use it today. And she fell into obscurity. Uh, she was kind of lost in the dustbins of history for a long time. But we're, we're recognizing her now. And I think that's, you know, the New York Times actually uh, wrote an obituary about her in 2024. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it was a catch-up obituary, right. 